Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this series called United by Mathematics wherein we discuss some elegant problems like these. So this one is not from any Olympiad, but this is a very interesting question. So I thought I would give you a newer gift from my side to you. So the question says, fill this board in such a way that numbers in the rows and columns are in arithmetic progression. So all the numbers are to be filled in this particular grid in such a way that the numbers in all the rows and all the columns are in AP. So how do we do this? The fact that zero is there in one of the numbers, one of the rows and columns, it will help us in a big way. So since zero is there in one of the rows and columns, so this is, this will be helping us a lot. So let us assume this number as A. Since this is A, I can fill up all this, all the other uh, uh, boxes in terms of A. So this is A, common difference of course A. So this will be 2A, this will be 3A and this will be 4A. So this has been filled with A's. And let us assume this as B. So this will be B, common difference is B again. So it will be 2B, this will be 3B and this will be 4B. Now, if I am somehow able to find the values of A and B, can I, can I check that all the boxes will be filled? If I'm able to find the values of A and B by, by some calculations, all the boxes will be filled because if I find the value of A, this row will be filled, this column will be filled. Since this is, this is known, 103 is known, so this column can be filled. 74 is known, A is known, this column can be filled. This column can be filled, this row can be filled, this row can be filled, and then Otherwise, we can fill all the rows and columns if we find out somehow the values of A and B. So how do we do this? How do we do this? So we know that 2B and this particular, this particular box will have the value. This will be the arithmetic mean of 2B and 186. This will be arithmetic mean of 2B and 186. So this particular will have the value B plus 93. So B plus 93. So this is B plus 93. And since these three terms are in AP, these three terms are in AP, so can I just say twice the middle term is first plus third? So we have one equation in A and B which says 2 not 6 will be equal to B plus 93 plus 2 times A. Or we have 2A plus B is equal to 113. So this is the first equation in A and B. If I am somehow able to find another equation in A and B using the equations or using the relations, I'm done. Because we'll be finding the value of A and B and then we can fill the whole board. So how do we find the other equation in A and B? See, so can I say, can I say this box, this box I can find out in terms of A and B. So this box will be so this particular value, it will be 103 plus B upon 2. Because we know one, this, this and this are in AP. So this box is arithmetic mean of this and this. So this is nothing but 74 plus 103 plus B upon 2 times half. See, right. So B103, so this box is arithmetic mean of 103 and B. So it will be 103 plus B upon 2. And this particular box in terms of B will be 74 plus this number upon 2. So 74 plus 103 upon B, uh, plus B upon 2 times 1 by 2. And we know that. And we know that this particular box is the arithmetic mean of these two numbers. And also the arithmetic mean of these two numbers. So we have 103 plus B upon 2 will be a plus this number upon 2. So can I also say, can I also say 103 plus b will be equal to this number half of 74 plus 103 plus b upon 2 plus this number which is a. So this is another relation between a and b and let us try to simplify this. Let us try to simplify this. It will be 206 plus 2b will be equal to 74 plus 103 plus b upon 2 plus 2 times a plus 2 times a and let us cross multiply 2 as well. So we have 40 or 412 
plus 4b is equal to 148 plus 103 plus b plus 4a. And let us see how much this simplifies to. So if we simplify this, we'll have, we'll have 4a minus 3b. So 4a minus 3b is equal to 4a minus 3b will be 4, 1, 2 minus some of these two, which will be 251. 251 and this simplifies to 1 and the second tenth digit will be 6, it will be 1. So it will be 1, 6, 1. So we have another relation in A and B. We have another relation in A and B. So we have two relations in A and B, one of which is 2A plus B is 1, 1, 3. The other will be 4A minus 3B is 161. Solving these two, solving these two will get the values of A and B as. So A will come out to be 50 and B will come out to be 13. 15 and 13, these are the values of A and B. Now we found A and B and let us try to fill the board now. So we have found A and B, so how do we fill the board? So how do we fill the board? So we have, this is, since A was 50, so this will be 50, this will be 100, this will be 150, this will be 200, and likewise, this will be 13, it'll be 26 here, it'll be 39 here, and it'll be 52 here. It'll be 52 here. And let us try to fill the boards. So we'll fill, fill the easy ones. 100, 103, so it'll be 106, It'll be 109, it'll be 112. It'll be 112. So we have 286. The difference of these two is 14. So minus 7, so 193. Minus 7, so it'll be 179. Minus 7 will be 172. <coughs> what else can be filled easily? What else can be filled easily? So we have 26, 106. So difference of these two is 80. Difference of these two is 80, it will be 40. The common difference of 40 will we'll take it to 66, 106 and 146. 146, 150, so this will clearly be 148. Minus 2, it will be 144, it will be 142. We can see the common difference here, it will be minus 30 or 30 here, 30 here. So it will be 82. It will be 82. So 82 minus 74 is 8, minus 8. Minus 8 or 50 plus 8 is 58. So this is how we fill the entire board using two values A and B. I hope your answer, if you've tried this before, was correct. You could verify your answer. And those who could not do it at the start, I hope they're not clear about how to do this right. All right. Till next time, take care.